Hello, my beautiful painters. Today, I just want to do a quick video about um, kind of like a, a good surprise that I came across uh, the dollar store. So anyways, uh, if you've seen uh, one of my previous videos, you probably saw where I did this painting uh, with dollar store items. If you haven't, I'll link it in the description below. It's actually a series of videos um, where I kind of show you the process of creating the pouring medium and mixing the paints and all of that. But in this video, I just wanted to show you or kind of give you a quick, um, a quick tip. If you want to have a painting that will have a glossy, shiny finish, you know, at the end, without having to put a varnish on top. So this does not have a varnish. And as you can see, it is really glossy. If we compare that to another one of my paintings where I did use a varnish, a spray varnish, you can see that this is glossy, but it has a varnish. This one does not have a varnish and it is glossy. And it is a very nice surprise because I found that by using this uh, tacky glue from Aline's, it gave my, basically my painting, a glossy finished look. So if you're looking for a pouring medium um, that is, I don't know if it would be the cheapest one, but it would definitely cut down on the cost of um, adding a varnish on top of your you know, of your paintings, then you can use this. You could use the tacky glue from Aline's and just mix 60% of this with 40% of water. You mix that really well, you shake it, that will be your pouring medium, and then you use that to mix it with your paints to make them a little bit more fluid. And then you just pour it on your canvas, let it dry, and you will have this nice shiny finish at the end. Um, one other tip is that I saw this one at Michael's and it's a bigger bot bottle. I can't remember the price of it. If I do, um, I'll look it up. I'll Google it. I'll put it right here in the video, how much it costs, but it, it probably is not the cheapest option. You know, Floetrol is going to be a lot cheaper. Maybe Elmer's glue is going to be a lot cheaper too, since you can find that in a one gallon a jug rather than the Aline switch. Um, I don't know, maybe it was a liter. I'm not really sure. I'll, you know, I'll put the, the, all of the details in the description box. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can find this in a bigger bottle to make a lot more pouring medium for a bigger painting. And I just wanted to show you what the results would be um, if you did decide to use this because some people always ask like Can I use can I do my own own pouring medium or homemade pouring medium? Yeah, you can um, You can use Elmer's glue, but if you use this you will have that shiny finish and Yeah, that's just another one of my tips for you guys If you like this video give it a thumbs up Please subscribe and check out the links in the description box because I have all sorts of goodies down there for you. Please share as well. That helps a ton. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.